Welcome back to the shop. Uh, I just want to do a video today here on some heat soak issues I've been having with the 71 C10. Uh, it's got the Edelbrock 1406 carb on it there. It's been on it for a few years. Um, personally, I like the Edelbrocks. I know a lot of people say they're junk. Um, I think this is what you're used to. Um, I've got no issue with, with Hollies. Um, my 67 Mustang, I had an Edelbrock 1406 on it, ran it for five years, daily drove it. Um, never had a problem. Um, I find they're easier to tune and set up. Uh, great for daily drivers. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm not biased. I've got got a Holly on the 68 there, which I'll probably keep until I four barrel swap it. And uh, the 71 did have this Holly on it when I got it. Um, it needs a rebuild, it's leaking pretty badly. And uh, I may end up throwing it back on one day, but um, I'm not biased one way or the other. Uh, I've been happy with both, so. So anyways, yeah, like I said, uh, parked this thing, and I would stumble and, and struggle to start. So the first thing I tried was uh, swapping to ethanol-free fuel. Um, made a pretty big improvement doing just that alone, but uh, it still was, you know, having issues on really hot days. So it was recommended to try one of these heat insulator gaskets from Edelbrock. Uh, I believe the part number on this one is 9266. Um, it worked okay, certainly made it better, but I don't know if these, uh, these metal grommets, I'm almost wondering if it wasn't, uh, soaking heat through those, transferring it to the carb because I was having on hot days, the carb was so hot, you could barely touch it. Um, and like I said, still causing issues. So it was recommended to try one of these, which is the 8725. That's a half inch uh, wood spacer. And that seems to be the ticket. I've only had it out once. Uh, it was fairly warm here the other night. Took it for a good hard run and parked it and started up decently after. Um, I'm still having a little bit of issue, but I think that's probably due to uh, my fuel line routing. It's a little tight in the block down there with the hard line. So I'm gonna bend up a new line for it and, uh, and that should solve that. Um, I do have the Edelbrock, if you can see it there, the 90 degree chrome fitting that they sell, um, as opposed to the straight outlet that usually comes out of the side there. And then I added a uh, Russell pressure gauge just to keep an eye on things. So like I said, um, if you're having heat soak issues in the summertime, give one of these a shot. Um, and as I mentioned in one of my other videos too, you know, avoid the ethanol fuel if you can. Not only does it cause issue with, you know, the rubber and the, and the seals and the carbs, it, uh, it definitely doesn't help with the heat soak. Um, it tends to boil off a little easier. So yeah, like I said, give that a go. Hopefully that helps somebody and uh, we'll see you next time.